Okay, in this video, I'm going to be discussing the uh, Brooklyn DAC uh, by MyTech that I recently picked up, as long as a few other peripherals that are connected through it. Um, up on the top, that is a uh, Project Carbon debut that I picked up recently. Um, underneath that is a Sony HAP-Z1ES and just an old uh, JVC DVD player I had laying around that also does a nice job of playing CDs. So I have all three of those hooked up to the MyTech Brooklyn right down there. So let me fire it up. See the starting ring is spinning there. There's a couple different screens you can go to here. This is just a basic screen. Just shows you the um, what kind of file you're playing. And one thing I should mention about it is it just comes with a standard uh, Apple TV remote. Um, it has to be programmed. It's not hard. Um, but yeah, that's what you use to turn the volume up and down and manage the menu, um, different menu settings. So if you hit the button again, it gives you another display. Let's see if I can get in closer on that. So you use the scroll wheel to scroll through the different options. And then there's, they're very hard to see. One of the, one of the things if I had to pick nets about this is there's some buttons in here that you need to uh, change some of the um, parameters for the uh, menus and stuff and they're really hard to see because they're black as well. So you've got to see where that says enable and um, if I hit, hit this one over here it highlights that and then you can change the settings positive negative. Uh, I don't even know what that's for. <laughs> oh the phase. Okay. So it is um, some of the menus were for me a little bit tricky to uh, figure out but um, I managed to figure it out as I'm not the most techie person in the world, but I made it work. So um, I'm going to move over to the laptop here and talk about the MQA features. Now this is Tidal that I have up on the screen here, but I figured out a few things too, that in order to do the MQA, you have to go to your settings and click on that Open Your Settings tab. He said, okay. So you go to streaming and you have to have master obviously highlighted there and you also have to have um, what else is it system default and the sound output and um, you also have to highlight this, this the, that says uh, Brooklyn DAC. There is a uh, a firmware if you're running Windows like I am. There's a firmware in there that you have to download. But again, it's fairly simple to do. Um, so I believe sound is controlled. But okay, so you need the master and you need that Brooklyn DAC. I think there's something else you need to do too. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, here's the other thing. That's what it is. Okay, sorry if I'm jumping around. Next to that speakers, there's another gear. You have to open that up and make sure that all three of these are highlighted. Actually, the force volume, that middle one, does not need to be. I just keep it on there. But if you don't have those other, the um, use exclusive mode and pass through MQA, you won't be receiving true MQA. So you have to go into that sub menu to enable that. So right now up on there, I have iron and wine. Let me get to that and uh, hit the play button. I just have my headphones hooked up to it right now. But if you look on the screen right there, I'll zoom in on it. If that MQA has that blue dot lit up next to it, you're actually getting MQA. If it does not, you're, you aren't. See, so and if I go there too... The blue dot is on the other screen as well. So I'm going to just go back over here and uh, go to settings again. Let's 
Sorry again, I'm not uh, doing a great job of this. Okay, let me go back to streaming. Go back to Brooklyn DAC and hit that gear again. And I'm just gonna disable these things. And if I come back over here, you will see that that blue dot is no longer there because MQA, even though that little um, logo is up, it's not decoding MQA properly. I'm gonna go back over and re-enable them all. Okay, and as you can see, MQA is back on again, right there. So, I've only had this a few weeks, but I really, really like it a lot so far. And one of the, um, it does a lot. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a bit pricey, no doubt, but for everything it does, it even has a moving magnet and moving coil phono amp built into it. So if you have a turntable, like I do, it's a nice feature because I can run all this through one, uh, set of XLR cables and that goes all the way my pre-pro is all the way back behind that screen over there that you see so I've got a pair of 20 foot XLR cables running back over there and uh, when I play this through my main system that I'm showing on camera right now it sounds really really good I really like it so far and um, it, even as a headphone amp, it's it's fantastic. It really is. So, if you're uh, on the lookout for a very flexible DAC, this yeah, this thing is is really great. And it also does DSD. I don't think there's a uh, a digital domain right now that it won't encode and and encode really well. So uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show that to you. And if you have any questions, obviously feel free to ask. All right, thank you.